Hello guys, Gold Swags here. We're back in Firewatch. Uh, we're back at our tower. We boarded up the window. Uh, last time we were around, we found the campsite of the teenage girls. They'd left a note saying they were going to call the police because they thought I had attacked them and destroyed their campsite. Although we don't know if that was me or it was a bear or another person. But what we're going to do, we're going to report in and say we're ready to work. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> every time I, I have to put my hat on, every single time, what's going on? Of course. of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, Doesn't look like a very comfortable seat. chair, I'll be honest. Day nine! We skipped a couple of days. It was day four last time we played, so uh, that was very exciting. I love this soundtrack. Can I just say, I absolutely love this soundtrack. I think there was an option to buy the soundtrack, so I might do it. Right, eating a, eating a sandwich, overlooking this beautiful Hello, Henry, site. Having a nice afternoon? Yeah, I am. I might never leave. Well, uh, I call up with some bad news. Oh. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. Shit, that's the ghost. Aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Oh, God. Should I just not say anything? And say that was a bit much, wasn't it? It's I, worth mentioning. I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me Why not? Either. We haven't done anything wrong. All right, Henry, thanks. Talk to the police. They could be dead. We don't want to kill them. Right, it's day 15. I'm not sure what just happened. I'm not really sure I agree with that decision that was made to be vague Henry. to the police. Henry, wake up. Out of bed and pick up the radio. Uh, groggy. What do you want? <coughs> hey, you big dumb idiot. Oh, she's drunk again. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. I'm dreaming. I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll this be is fine. weird, isn't it? It's like a dream well, sequence. I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Miss Delilah's Tower. Day 33! That was a jump. We've been here a month now, over a month. And we're having a little dream about Julia. We're hiking north. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. <laughs> You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and... I get to do cross doesn't look like it's 90 degrees, does it? This looks like it's cold. Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Okay. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes... I want beans jerky. and prunes. I want some jerky! Six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. <laughs> She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Oh, wow. Cheeky drug reference. No reply that I can give. I was interested in having a conversation so, about that. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? Oh! We were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and... Yeah, let me have my I'd moment. Just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. 
I shouldn't be out here. Yes, you should. No, I just ran away from my problems. No, you didn't. Have I got some bent knees? Or is that just the colour of my body? Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Mm. Oh, Javier? Incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a drill Javier. Casper. We dated for almost five years. I like learning a bit about Delilah. I was working Sweet. with Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walt's Who wouldn't marry Javier? excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for <sighs> some reason... <sighs> I didn't come this is home. a big old supply one. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so, I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. Oh. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. So this is for me. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. I wonder if I can go to any of these Just ones. Yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day sixty-four, two months in. Let's see what we find. Don't know why I'm excited to talk like this. It's very exciting, though. So we learned a little bit about the last haven't fixed. Oh god. For what might be the biggest fire of the year. Shit. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? I need to put that out properly. Oh, what? So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? Can I not drop this you in a way like that, that isn't, huh? like, just chucking yeah, it down? I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. This is horrible. I want to just place it. I just want to place it. So there's this creek down the hill. And, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand. Mine is hot on. Deep into the water and let it chill in there all day. And then on nights like tonight when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. Cool his food. Some of them the supplies to me, Blake. Got some green beans, corn, like beans, jam, dish soup, suds. If I was there with you, I'm Ooh. sure I would like it a lot. Ooh. Have I just, have I just flirted? Fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. She changed the subject pretty quick. Okay, I'm looking at it again. Where's she? Okay, I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Oh, so she's kind of returning the flirt a little bit. Me too. Good. That's the first time. As much as I talk to you. That's the first time I've said that I'm glad to be out here. I know it's probably been a while. So my Xbox controller keeps unplugging itself. With someone the way we have. I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. It has been there. nice. I wish you were too. Oh, it does. We could sit outside. We could talk. Are we sort of... Grab these radios. We could, um... Here's Delilah's tire. You know. What? What could we do? What could well, we do? Let me tell you. Hmm. 
I think she told me, but we've cut that out. That's not safe for work, right? We're at day 76. Oh, the fishing pole! It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. I absolutely want to catch a fish. Amazing. I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? I don't want to fight a pet. Sometimes it riles up the wildlife. <laughs> I don't want to fight a bear. Uh, sure Let's just do it though. I want to be that guy who just does things. You are such a drama queen. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. I don't know if this is the way. I kind of want to get my map out, but I can't while we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put this away for a sec. I want to get to the lake. So, map. Look in. All right, it is just straight ahead of me, northwest. Okay, lower the map. We're on our way. I don't know how to get the fishing rod out again, but we'll figure it out when we get there. <clears throat> so we're looking for bear tracks. That's that's the fire. Do you remember this is where we found the um the girls before? Was that me? Okay, I think that was me. We're okay. I thought I was about to be attacked by a bear then. I might still be about to be attacked by a bear. Oh, what's this? A clipboard. Oh. Front row seat, big uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I, I don't talk to the other lookouts. They're writing what we're talking about. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said. This is to each our other conversation. Saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts Would as you much kill as I back talk to you, not in the same way. Paul McCartney and bring back Jimi Hendrix. No Me too. Way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. Where's the canyon? find and eat any mushrooms did you i mean they can be fun but also you know devastating oh hello regardless just let me know okay buckaroo oh god i don't know why I <coughs> oh what's going on what the hell is happening Henry? are you there is this the guy i saw what before happened? I got hit in the head, punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. What the hell just ah, happened? Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I'm just going to go fishing, man. Along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, I, I don't know. <coughs> How bloody so weird was that? Wapiti Station, right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God, damn it, my head. Are you are you sure you saw what? What you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy. Why is and this? You're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in, in the middle of nowhere. Those words were from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. That's so creepy. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking <clears throat> to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't... You know, do anything crazy. 
like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with <laughs> literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant like kill anybody. You got it, boss. This is so creepy. What a weird little twist. Who hit me? I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break on that one, guys, um, before we explore uh, and find out exactly what was going on. But if you've liked this video, give it a like. Leave a comment below of what you think is happening in the story. Don't give any spoilers, please. Um, and I'll be back with another video shortly. Have a good one, guys.